All right, we're getting started tonight with blueberry lemon loaf. Uh, I don't know, Getty, it doesn't sound so twisted to me here at the onset, but I have a feeling you got something up your sleeve. So. I do have something up my sleeve. Okay. It is white beans. Ta-da! Yeah, we're adding beans to add just another hit of nutrition to our uh, dessert. I know, it's crazy. Now, that makes it super phenomenal also, and, and texture-wise, as we're going to find out here as we go through this process, it's like no one will ever know if you don't want them to. They won't know, and you know that you have the satisfaction of more protein, more fiber, fewer calories. We're swapping out some of the butter. I mean, we're keeping some, but we're swapping out just a little bit for that bonus nutrition. We start with white beans, and so I'm using canned, drained, rinsed, and we're just going to put them in our little beaker here, okay. and we're going to puree them. Okay. It's okay to add some water to these beans to, to, to be able to get a nice smooth puree Creamy. yeah and then in you go zhuzh it up <laughs> and you zhuzh it until you get a nice creamy that's what beautiful, it looks like that's yeah finish yeah. and so this half cup of white bean puree is going to go into our loaf okay now we move on over here what and have we, we here we have our regular butter okay we have some sugar and some lemon zest already blended together, creamed together, and that lemon zest, oh, the flavor, so good. Yeah, this yeah. is a good loaf, I mean, for sure. Yeah, and so we're going to um, add our ingredients. We're going to add our bean puree right into that. And that's all it is, half a cup, half a cup. And you know, the thing about it is that um, I think there's been a lot more conversation in the last little, you know, number of years about, you know, using beans in bake baking and, you know, pulses um, because, uh, you know, it works so well. It and, does. Yeah. It yeah. just fits itself right in And there. we've shown you a black bean um, brownie before. Mm -hmm. This is like the white bean version. So you can use whatever bean you have to make these baked goods, swap out some of the butter for bean puree. Awesome. So, yeah. While, why don't you get started on the dry? goods because from here we're basically doing just a re regular loaf okay. you do the dry i do the wet they all come together it makes beautiful so magic. you got some salt here oh sorry you go on do that that's okay That's it. Yeah. And so this is baking uh, salt, baking soda, baking powder. You got it. Okay. The the, tri the normal trifecta there. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm adding my eggs. I'm gonna add a little vanilla, a little lemon juice. Again, just making it all lemony and good. And not Here just any egg, but Countryside Farms Vita eggs. Very very proud to have them part of our show. All right, we've got that. It's Guess like the what? baby zhuzh, super zhuzh, <laughs> yeah. and now. It's time to do, and we're going to do this in three stages. So we're going to get you to, to put like half of the flour in there, and then I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Just like any other loaf, you don't want to over mix things here. Enough? Yep, Kay. perfect. Now, I am using fresh blueberries today, but you can also use frozen blueberries. And the trick for making sure that they don't bleed all over yeah. is I would steal a little bit of that flour and coat those Just blueberries. There. When okay. you use fresh blueberries, you don't need to use that trick. Right. If you feel like the blueberries are big and huge and are gonna all sink to the bottom, you could just save a few for, uh, for placing on oh, top. Oh, okay, yeah. wow. So we're mixing in stages here. Mm -hmm. And does it matter wet to dry, dry to wet? I, I guess this is, you know, this is how you put it together. But there's always that, seems like there's that conversation about having to add the um, the, the wet to the dry. Yeah. But and the idea is... Um, this is really awkward. Sorry. The idea is just to prevent overmixing the batter. Okay. Which we know when we're doing loaves like this, we never want to do that. So right. by doing it in stages, it allows that to happen. Okay. Get the benefits of beans. Did you know that beans can help regulate blood sugar levels and aid digestion? With their high fiber content, low glycemic index, and slowly digestible starches, beans ensure a gradual increase in blood sugar levels, which is especially beneficial for those living with diabetes. Now, you notice I haven't mixed it 
totally. I don't want to over mix. I can't overstate how much. <laughs> well, and the thing that I sometimes wonder is, well, what exactly is over mixing? Like, how would you know when you're done mixing? Like, that when everything's been incorporated, I see you stopped with the electric mm -hmm. mixer, and now your hand sort of mixing the remnants from the side of the bowl. Is that kind of the deal? Or? That, that's kind of the deal. Okay. I still want to incorporate my blueberries, wow. so um, I want... Now is when I want the most of the flour incorporated. If it's super smooth and all the traces of flour are gone, it's you may have gone too far. Okay, that's good. To so know. that's it. Okay, hands off. Okay, don't that's touch it. it. Okay. All right. Now pour it into your into your loaf pan. We've got some nice parchment paper ready to go, and you would pop that into the oven, 350. And it's going to take about an hour. An hour. Yeah, okay. so it, it takes some time. Okay. But look. Da, 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 da. Da. What have we here but the finished loaf, right? Yes. Okay, so what's this? Yes, so now. That looks good. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> A sweet <laughs> lemony drizzle okay. is what we have. So this is when you get to play and you use all your favorite food network great taste of Manitoba skills that you've learned over the years. Uh, right, And yes. you drizzle and you make it look all fancy. And then, ta-da! It, it is time, Des. Oh, I'd be delighted to try this. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna just grab a little piece of that. Um, one of the cool things about this puree too is that you can freeze it. Yeah, so you if you have leftover puree, use it in other baking, use it in chowders and soups as a thickener, use it in your mashed potatoes for that added nutrition. It's, it's versatile. Freeze it. Mm -hmm. Freeze the extras and use, freeze it in half cup portions and use it throughout your cooking and baking. Well, it's, an, it's absolutely delicious, and in no way can you tell that there's beans in it. Not that it should be a big secret, right? right. Okay, thank you so much, Getty. That was fantastic. Uh, when we come back, we have our spicy yellow split pea soup here on Great Taste. Don't go away.